Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching and welcome to a new style of reading. Today we have got Lester Levinson in the jar. We've got his quotes and we have also got these little tiny bits of paper. Now you'll see here we've got not success programs, we've got above fame and fortune. Now this probably doesn't make sense right now. It will make sense. So what we're going to do is we, I'm going to play a clip of Lester Levinson speaking in one of his lectures. And as he speaks, I'm going to shuffle cards for these segments. We've got I cannots. These are things that he talks about. He talks about not success programs. He talks about I cannots. He talks about your beingness. Focus that. He talks about the goal. So we are going to shuffle on all these areas. And while I shuffle, we're going to listen to some Lester. All right. So I'm going to get my headphones out and I'm going to put the audio on and I'm going to shuffle away and you can enjoy learning from, you know, I think he really is one of my favorite spiritual teachers. And each time I do this, we can have someone new. I mean, it'll be great to have Ramdas. He is so much fun. We can have Eckhart Tolle. We can have, uh, I don't know, all kinds of different people. And I think it should be okay. I think I'll find out actually. I haven't uploaded one of these because, you know, sometimes YouTube's a bit funny about stuff like that, but I think it should be all right. All right. So I'm going to play a couple of minutes of Lester talking and you take in what he has to say because that's going to be relevant in the reading. All right. I, I'll tell you another thing from the top. If it's world, it's no good. Now let me qualify that. Be successful. Be the number one. Because in that process you get to know that if it's world, it's no good. You get to know that after attaining fame and fortune, there's no happiness there. Then you have to go after happiness where it really is. What is happiness? There's only one single joy in happiness, it's being your beingness. Which you do every time you quiet your mind by satisfying a desire. A desire is agony, is the agony of lack. Your mind is active. You satisfy the desire, your mind goes quiet, and you're being. And that's the only joy there is. There is no other joy. Get to see this and you stop chasing the rainbows out there. Yeah, but hear me. You, if you can't succeed in the world, you got programs, I cannot succeed. So you must succeed in the world. Why? So it brings up those non-success programs so you can release them. A good part of the course is goals, right? Mm -hmm. Why? So it brings up your negative feelings so you can release them, so you can be successful. If you can't be successful, you must be. When you are successful, then you move above it. You go from having this to doing this to being this. If you can't win in this world, you've got to become a winner. If you're not a winner, you're loaded with I cannots. So as you move out to be a winner, the I cannots come up and you release them. Then you can be a winner. Are winners happy? After you get to be a winner, you move up into being. All right. So I hope you took all of that in. Wasn't that interesting? He did talk about what's above fame and fortune. He talked about the goal. He talked about the reason why we pursue a goal isn't so much to attain the goal. It's that in the moving towards the goal, it will bring up all the stuff that we have in the way. And that's the work of our lives. That's the real spiritual work that we're all meant to do. On our way to the goal, it'll bring up the I cannot, I'm not good enough. I can't do this. This is really hard. It'll bring up the not success programs. And we're meant to look at that. And in the looking at that, very often that's enough to enable that thing to dissolve. Sometimes these I cannots and not success programs, they just need our attention. 
we've got your beingness as well so let's take a look at all of these all right so now i've got to organize my screen here <laughs> i'm new to this guys i haven't done this <laughs> format before it's why it's a bit it's a bit messy here all right let's organize all this and let's see what comes in our spread okay right so above fame and fortune what is above fame and fortune time interesting and i'm gonna say no time timelessness i think is what's above fame and fortune here because if you look at the clock all those numbers are falling off amazing okay we've got time there above fame and fortune or as we've got depicted timelessness the goal let's take a look at the goal and this goal card could be relating to a part of what you are striving for at the moment strength yeah yep that is a terrific goal for you to be strong under all circumstances and look at that i mean the world is weightless here she's holding it in one hand and dancing at the same time this is not a burden for her taking everything in stride okay the I cannot. So we're going to delve into what is blocking at this time. Time itself could be blocking you. You might be feeling delayed, restricted, that you don't have enough time. But it's like when we go above fame and fortune, there is no time. But right now you might be feeling time bound let's take a look at what else might be happening at the moment so these i cannot programs i cannot perfect immunity grace okay we've got a little girl here as well perfect immunity the i cannots we've got the hierophant I'm getting here like I cannot be myself there's something about your situation right now where you feel like you cannot be your full self and perhaps you're having to follow tradition you're having to follow a path that maybe you feel like you have not mapped out for yourself Perhaps, and it's funny because I was just thinking about that this morning about how with royalty and royal people there it's so interesting to watch them and how and they're so perfect like I was thinking about the perfection of their lives and you know how their purpose in life it's mapped out for them it's given to them it's like you can only do this And maybe there's some pressure of you having to be perfect. Maybe that I cannot hear is that like you, you would love to, well, you'd love to be more free. Like this little girl is, she's free. She can create her own path. And that was a quote that I'd read as well. It was a cowboy wisdom quote and it was something about some people follow the path that is set for them and some people create their own trail to blaze or whatever like some people create their own path i think one of the i cannots that you've got going on at the moment is that you cannot create your own path i think you're having to follow someone else's path possibly because hierophant can be tradition 
So, and we've got child here. So maybe there's some parental expectations on you as well. Maybe your parents want you to do a particular thing and you're just like, oh, I don't want to do this. And that's very much in the Indian culture. I've been watching this Indian lady. Gosh, I've forgotten her name. If I can find her name, I'll put it on the screen. Um, I will find her name and I'll put it on the screen. She's so funny. And she has a lot of jokes about like, Indian culture and the parental expectations you know that you're supposed to do a degree and have a job in a big company and all that kind of thing you can't go off and create a YouTube channel type thing so yeah some of the there's, there might be some of that going on for you at the moment let's take a look at these not success programs here what are these all right initiation gift that's a beautiful card but let's see what is clarifying it. Oh, wow. Maybe, okay, maybe your the not success program that's coming up for you is about, is, is that your relationship maybe is not as supportive as you would like it to be. We'll shuffle on this. We'll find out. if this is indeed a blockage or is there a beautiful wonderful relationship coming up for you we'll have a look and the state of your beingness let's take a look oh how beautiful look at that rose true love wow all right well we've definitely got a good area to investigate here let's take a look i want to dig into this and I want to find out what's the story there. Let's take a look. Okay. And I've just realized I haven't got a title for today's reading. So we're going to title this. We're going to look at are you chasing rainbows or are you are you on the right path or are you chasing rainbows yeah that's what we're going to explore okay so <laughs> sorry i only just came to that now <laughs> but i want to explore this so are, are you chasing rainbows well just off the back of this your beingness is in a really is in terrific shape it's in this vibration of true love deep at your core your vibration is in a space of true love and it's in a timeless space above fame and fortune above the world above you know and beyond everything that we're typically trapped by your soul and vibration is amazing right now the other thing is with the I cannot and the not success programs we have drawn for you these beautiful cards like these are really good cards from that deck normally they tend to be pretty negative um, but you've got these stunning cards here so I think overall in terms of the energy of this group we've got a really high vibe group here things are going quite well but we'll dig further don't worry we'll take a look okay strength your goal does require strength we'll have a look at this okay so we're going to take a look at here the not success programs is your i'm going to ask is your relationship and maybe see if you're single you might be dreaming of a relationship that will support you that will help you reach your goals so that is probably something that you want and possibly the lack of that you might be using that as an excuse to not pursue your goals on your own and I think one of the most attractive things about someone is like that they are pursuing the goal on their own like you should do that that will make you more attractive to the right person 
So I think the guidance and advice there, if you're single, the guidance and advice is don't be feeling the lack of not having that partner by your side. You pursue your goals anyway. You've got the strength. You really do. Now, if you're in a partnership, we're going to shuffle on that and we're going to see what's going on. So you're in a relationship. I want to ask what is going on here in that relationship. Yeah, heartbreak. Wow. Some of you are in a relationship and it doesn't feel supportive. It doesn't feel like it's supporting your, you know, your, your pathway, the pathway that you really want to create. Let's take a look and see if we can get a little bit more and we might draw something from the jar for people who are in a relationship. Get one more card. What else can you tell us about this relationship for those? And this could be, this could even be, it doesn't have to be a partner. This could be a relationship that's really close to you. It could be a best friend. It could be someone in your world that you kind of expect that they would want you to be successful, but they're not. It's a not success program. It's just they're, they're not they're not there for you. So let's just ask about a little bit more about this relationship that's not being supportive at this time. Eight of Wands. There's going to be some change here. Let's get one more. What kind of change? Wow. Yeah, I think we've got some people in this group who are in a tight spot when it comes to relationship. We'll get a quote from the jar. Let's see what comes. Anything that bothers you is not outside you. The bother is within you. Wow. That is the ultimate spiritual teaching, isn't it? This is never outside. <laughs> and we think it is. And what we do is we think that it's that other person and that, oh, they're causing me all this stress. And we think it's them. And then we stop. See, and, and here's what the spiritual path is. You don't stop there. You keep going. You keep looking to see, is it, is it really out there? And it's not. It, when you really go down this spiritual path, you will see that it's some reflection of you. The bother is not outside of you. The bother is within you. This is hard stuff to really master. And Lester Levinson, when we look at his life, I mean, you know, the people who really master this information, they're the ones who almost die to get it. I think he did have some kind of NDE or he did, he did have some kind of, let me, have, let me remember what is his story. Because basically the doctors told him you've got three months to live. He didn't have an NDE. But what he did was he went deep and he really took this kind of thing on where he thought, I'm really going to investigate this. And through that deep investigation, he came to discover it's all me. It's all just me. The whole world is reflecting me back to me. So this is my stuff. So this is our stuff. This is... And this is my stuff too right now. So let's see. Let's see how can we resolve this. So we're really feeling that someone's not supportive of us. How do we transform this feeling? 
Well, I think one of the ways that I've learned from Lester is that we accept the feeling. We accept that there are people like this in our world. That's step number one. Accept them as they are. Don't expect them to change, right? Don't expect them to change at all. Pray for forgiveness. And one of the things I've learned about forgiveness recently is that I've got it written down here somewhere. Let me try and find it. Oh, I don't have that little book nearby. But I learned something about forgiveness, and that is that you've got to trust that the divine will work out the exact solution for you. So let's say, let's say you decide to forgive and trust that the divine is going to work it all out. What happens then? So we've, we're filling ourselves up with this incredible trust energy. What happens? We trust and we forgive. We trust and we forgive. Wow, the emperor, of course. Look at that. Yep. Trust and forgive. Forgive and trust. This is something that I figured out on Monday. I figured out I, that I need to be more forgiving in life. And I realized that one of the things that put me off from being forgiving is that I don't know what's going to happen afterwards. I, I, I don't know what the divine is going to do. I don't know what the divine is going to orchestrate. I don't know how is it going to work out. And I realized I saw myself not trusting the divine and I realized how stupid that was of me because the divine knows me. The divine is going to sort everything out in the most perfect and comfortable way for absolutely everyone. That is what the divine is going to do. And the part that I wasn't doing in the forgiveness bit, the reason my forgiveness wasn't working was because I didn't trust that the divine will take over and do a beautiful job. And when we let it, it's like having an emperor just step in and just magically just work it all out in such a way that absolutely everybody is happy, that everybody gets a healing and everyone's happy. Imagine that. The divine can do that like it's effortless for the divine. You know, so wow, this is a cool reading. All right, I am enjoying this new style of reading, guys. Let's see what else. Um, what was the question again? Are, are you chasing rainbows? Is that what the question is? Yeah, you know, I don't think you're chasing any rainbows. Let's take a look at your goal. Let's let's have a look. Let's take um, one of these, and we'll take one of these as well. So, your goal. Okay, are you chasing rainbows? Is that what the topic's going to be? I think that's what's going to be. Are you are you chasing rainbows or are you on the right path? Are you chasing rainbows or are you on the right path? Oh wow, asking for a miracle. Okay. Interesting. You've got strength here. You might be in a tough spot some of you here. Um, that is quite possible. Asking for a miracle. You do need the divine. And I think you need to be forgiving. I think and when you when you forgive, you'll just see everything will work out in a miraculous way. It will be quite incredible. And that and forgiving is really doing this. Anything that bothers you is not on the outs is not outside you the bother is within you it's kind of like i did this on monday i asked the divine for forgiveness and for me like that forgive me i've probably done the wrong thing like forgive forgive them and forgive me too because i've probably done something wrong that i don't know and you know and yeah and then the divine will give you signs that your your prayers are working that your prayers are working so let's take a look at are you chasing rainbows or are you on the right path? Are you chasing rainbows or are you on the right path? No. <laughs> oh, wow. 
Ten of Cups. Okay. We've got a lot of green here. This is your heart. This is emotion. I think what you want is like, you want a life that you love. You want a life that you truly love. We've got true love here. Are you on the right path? I mean, I'm getting a lot of indicators saying yes here. Let's get one more for what's standing in your way. I cannot. Well, give me another I cannot. Wow, well, I cannot, yeah, I cannot be strong. I cannot be this. It's like I cannot be this when I want to be this. It's like I can do it afterwards. <laughs> I, I'm like that. It's like I think of all the brilliant one-liners to say after everything has happened. <laughs> and that's the thing. You want to be that in the now. And you want that timelessness here now. We always think of the clever thing to say after the moment, don't we? But it's like, no, you want, to, you want to be like that now. And that's the thing. You want life to be more of an experiential sort of a thing. That is the thing I discovered about forgiveness. That was the insight. I discovered that forgiveness, it's not a kind of um, intellectual thing. It's experiential. And that's the same as meditation. Meditation is an experiential thing. You've got to do it to experience the effects of it. Same as forgiveness. You've got to do the thing. And it's like, how do I know I've forgiven? Life will reflect it back to you. And that's the thing about forgiveness. I've discovered that it's experiential. I was going to say experiential only. Yeah, I'll go with that. I think it is. But are you, are you chasing rainbows? I, I don't think you're chasing rainbows. I think you are incrementally inching towards a life that you love. I don't think you're too far away from that. I think there are many aspects of your current life that you do truly love. That's what I'm seeing here. These are strong. Your beingness is in a space of true love. Yeah, things on the 3D plane. All right, there's some challenge in here. But this is superb. That's timeless. That's amazing. This is all green and happy and good here. Your goal, your path, I think you are incrementally making your way to having more and more of a life that you love. So I'm getting a big, strong, get, keep going message. Keep going. I think you're doing amazing. And I think in time, you are going to be more of this king of wands. You're going to close the gap between like time and the now you know you'll be living in the now more and more and more and just operating from the now this is great energy here guys i'm wow this is cool i'm loving this new style of reading let's do this and that way you get a long reading as well and it's all for you so i don't know let me know in the comments below how you like it but let's get some words final words from lester let's see what he's got to say so we've got here, complexity is the lack of understanding. Tension is caused by wanting to go in two opposite ways at the same time. Yes, that's so true. And I think what you want is simplicity. I think what you crave and want is just, and that love, love is simplicity. And complexity is intellect in the mind. So just be aware of that and be careful of overusing the mind. Don't overuse the mind. It's like put the mind down, you know, and it's really good. We haven't had, we've only had some five of swords. We, the swords card has only appeared here in the not success programs. And that's possibly being reflected back to you by somebody in your life or maybe even two or three people. But um, that's not too bad. We don't have too many swords here. I think you're doing quite well and let's take a look at one more quote and then we will wrap oh it's already here <laughs> and then we're going to wrap up okay when we love and only love we are using the most formidable power in the universe no one and nothing can harm us yes that's exactly right and that that's why 
you know, things like forgiveness that is in the realm of love you know and we want to be doing more of that than being here in the mind and you know and and trying to find the right words to say and all of that no you, you possibly don't have to do all of that if you trust and forgive you're the emperor right we've got that here oh i'm making a mess now <laughs> Wonderful spread, guys. This has been better than I expected. This, for a first experimental reading, I didn't know how it was going to go. And I am so happy with this new style of reading. Let me know in the comments below if you're happy with this style of reading too. I would love to hear from you. And next time we do this, who knows who it's going to be? It might be Eckhart. It might be, oh, it might be Alan Watts. Oh, there are so many spiritual teachers we can bring into this. And, you know, I'll feature them in the jar, of course. And yeah, it, it can be a creative adventure every single time. So let me know how you got on with this in the comments below. And I look forward to seeing you next time.